you got my mind going. Like, imagine you back in the day sitting at mm-hmm. some table in a comedy club with guys like Chappelle. And I could imagine that being tremendously fun, but also oh, yeah. super competitive. Like, oh, I got to I gotta be witty at this table. I got to be the smartest guy in the room if I'm going to keep up with these guys and earn their respect, you know? I mean, you hope, obviously, you're in a business, so you hope you earn people's respect. But, like, right. even, even an idiot could have seen Chappelle coming and been like, yeah, I'm not going to try and keep up with that guy. <laughs> that's that's a whole different level of funny that i'm just gonna like i'm gonna admire it i'm gonna enjoy it uh i'm do gonna you, do my thing and, and do you ever analyze it do you ever say this guy's so fucking relaxed and it seems like he's coming up with material like left mm-hmm. and right like off the prolific. top of his head how prolific yeah. and you go why how is he doing that what what the hell is the secret generally i can deconstruct where somebody's coming from like hmm. you know it, it's like a magician that goes to a show once you know the tricks, you can watch it and go like, that guy's a craftsman. Like that's fucking, that's good craft. Uh, it's really well done, but I know how this, I know how this trick goes, but there are certain people that come in and you just go touched by God. That's just, that's just different. That's, I can't give you a roadmap to that because I'm not sure how he got there. And those are the people that you tip your cap to. You just go, you know, I was always somebody that got by, I, I, I thought I was good, but I worked hard. Like I had to get right. better. And then this is not to say that brilliant people don't work hard, but there were certain people where you just go, your brain's different. It's kind of a magical thing. I'm glad you're here. Cause I appreciate it. I love, I love watching miles Davis as much as the next guy, but I don't know where that's coming from. Were you the type of guy like Jerry Seinfeld who would write every day, like sit there no. and write on a pad every day? No, I was more somebody that had to do it to get better. I, I wasn't, I wasn't good at the discipline of writing, but I was good at the grind. Like I could go out and do like a tell was like that too. Like we could grind it. Like, you know, you'd pass each other in the subway going from stand up New York, back down to the cellar, back up to Caroline's, you know, you do your six shows in a night. Would you try out new material on stage? Like one of the things about Chappelle, you Always. would go see him on a night where he might be just kind of looking around. To he he actually creates on stage. That's right. Uh, Jerry has said to me he would never do that. He writes everything out. He's all prepared. He do, he best, doesn't believe. By the way, best craftsman I've ever seen in this business. Best, like Jerry. He, he yeah. Here's someone that you wouldn't necessarily think that of, but like Seinfeld and Carlin have a lot in common in that they are very different acts but master craftsmen and it's exactly right fucking prepared they are so meticulous that was the thing about carlin that was so impressive to me and i was lucky enough to get to know him a little bit was his level of preparation was second to none and seinfeld's the only other guy that i've ever seen that has that same level of ability to do that like it's it's remarkable to me 